Hey, what the hell, man? What the hell are you doing? Take me, pick me, come on. What the fuck? Randoms, man. Friggin' randoms. <laughs> So yeah, we got, everybody's got a new free skin for Pathfinder because we got to celebrate Jedi Fallen Warder. And don't worry, Super will hook you up with a review soon enough. Keep watching, subscribe, leave a like, you know what to do. And it's coming soon. You'll enjoy it. So I was thinking I, I was going to um, portray the latest update on Apex. And I thought, since... A big chunk of um, of this update is gonna be all about those uh, Apex packs you're gonna get until level 500 that are now 199. I thought, why not open the ones I got for free? So I got 14 uh, levels for free. So if you're level 100, you're gonna get to level 101, easy, and you're gonna get 14 Apex packs. So, hope you enjoy them. There's some uh, nice things in, uh, in um, the Apex Packs opening. And I'll go straight to talk about the update that just hit yesterday. So here we go. So, as I said, and if you've seen in the video before, you're probably gonna have like a up in the link. We can now level up all the way to 500. 500! So instead we can only do to 100, now we got 5 times as more levels. So happy, happy leveling up. So here's the deal, from level 2 to level 20 you're gonna get 1 pack for every level. From level 22 up to 300 you're gonna get 1 pack for every 2 levels. From level 305 up to 500 you're gonna get 1 pack for every 5 levels. So you'll continue to earn 600 legend tokens per level and as I said before the Apex Packs rewards will be your retroactive. Um, so every 100 player levels, so this means 5 times, we're gonna get a player level gun charm. So 5 charms for 100 levels for the 500. All right. Uh, they're also including in this update 36 new gun charms. I actually thought it was kind of empty. Um, they're going to be at epic and legendary tier and you can only get them via Apex packs. Um, they will also be rotating over on the shop so if you want to direct purchase you can avoid the RNG and just go spend your cash. Um, so people are still complaining about the freaking peacekeeper even though with the nerf they already did it apparently it's not enough so they're right now reviewing what the uh, hell they can do to it how can they nerf it more so be on the lookout uh some probably it's gonna be a server side patch is gonna come up and they're gonna nerf it a little bit more or adjust it just like they did in the previous update where they just uh, adjusted the cone of a uh, of fire and the project style size so making it a little bit a little less OP kind of still is but whatever just play what what you got man don't complain just go grab them kills and if you see a guy with a peacekeeper just keep your distance shoot from afar that easy right all right uh what else uh oh this is nice they will the armor and the elements will be color bind compatible slightly more vibrant though this is nice um added on an off setting that determines if taking damage while looting a death box closes the menu you can toggle this in the gameplay oh this is nice so um you can now toggle on and off a setting that as soon as you get shot while looting a death box it's gonna close the looting menu i like this so that way you can avoid pressing escape and go back into the action and take cover or re return fire um, final circle movement was also kind of fine-tuned uh, no this doesn't matter oh they added an inspect for the lifelines heirloom so if you got lifeline heirloom now you can uh, inspect it there's a PC only fixed 
where any arrow key after selecting a number of fields in the settings will jump to the next option instead of changing the selected value. I have no idea what I'm talking about. I use my mouse for that, so whatever. Uh, the gold armor spawn rate has been reduced, so that means more gold armor, right? I think it is. Um, and you will get a prompt to cancel the finishers in progress so that you can uh, just juke some dudes and go back to fighting. Then that might actually be interesting. All right. I'm not going to talk about the bug fixes because there are freaking a lot. So if you want to go check out the patch notes for December 3rd on Apex, it's up on uh, answers at ea.com. Uh, you're going to find it on their Discord, all over. Even in the game, it's got a reference for it. Um, they did, however, do an update to Nighton Shields. Okay, the key or shield protection now extends over and behind the player's head. Oh, so no headshots. Okay, okay. Uh, they also, dudes, they also buffed a lot the shield health. Oof, this is this is not worth it. Spending your ammo trying to finish a dude. So it's probably worth it to going for the finisher, to be honest. So um, a great a gray shield, a common shield, doubled from 100 AP, HP to 200 HP. And a blue shield, a rare, went from 250 to 450. Damn. Uh, they also, but they did reduce the speed from uh, 0.65, so 65% to 55%. All right, whatever. Uh, in the firing range, friendly fire is now supported. You can toggle it on in the setting menu. That's nice. More than one prior. Oh, that means you can have like a little. Uh, oh, nice! You can have duels while in the firing range. We got. I gotta. I gotta check this out with with some peeps. Gotta check this out. And uh, PC only. They fixed where you would crash while entering the firing range. Uh, so that's nice. Um, invisible zip lines have also been um, fixed. And yeah, that's it. All right. For the last but not least, Watson's trophy system. Okay, so they've made it less aggressive. No, wait, they've made it more aggressive. How it shoots down grenades and just in defense between incoming and outgoing projectiles. You know, predicts the trajectory of grenades thrown within perception zone and intercept them if they land anywhere within that zone. No grenade can cock that any surface within a deception zone, regardless of the team. But players can fire grenades outwards. From the oh, okay. So it's only when you're close behind the sappers. You can throw grenades outside, but you can't throw grenades inside the, the, the fence zone. Meh. So basically, it's gonna zap grenades. Alright. Alright, guys. Um, basically that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, I'll be back for, for more Apex news and more Apex updates soon and more Apex gameplay, of course. Hope you enjoyed the legendary um, stuff that I actually got in those 14 uh, Apex packs. I was not expecting some of them. And I gotta say, getting a legendary crafting material is really lame. Like... It just froze down. Come on, are you kidding me? What the fuck? I was like, oh my god, I got a legendary. Uh, juke on you from respawn. Anyway, that's it, guys. I've been super. You've been super. Thank you so much for watching. Again, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below what you thought, and I'll see you in the world's end because I'm coming for you. <laughs> bye bye.